Hello everyone, welcome to the Lakeside Gamer. Today we'll be playing an example game of Clue to apply the strategies that I used in my previous video. That these same strategies can be used in a board game version of Clue, but by playing it digitally, virtually, we can move the game quicker and you can see how this would work itself out. So we'll go ahead and jump into the game and we'll get ourselves started. And with this, what you're gonna wanna do is in addition to taking any information that you are given during the game from cards, uh, you also wanna take note of what other people pass on and you can eliminate options from there. But very importantly, and I think sometimes people skip this, you also want to take note of when a player hands over a card, what potential cards those might be. So we'll see how this works itself out as we're playing the game. But let's go ahead and keep an eye on what's happening until it's our turn. So Peacock is making the first move. She's right outside the door. And then she will move on and Mustard will go next. Also rolls an eight. And he is going to get into the ballroom. And he is going to make his first guess here. And he's going to guess plum with the wrench. And I have the ballroom, so I will let him know that and continue. So we know that plum does not have any of those three. That piece of information is useful, but early on uh, in this game, I'm one of the first people who can hand something over, so that didn't help us too much. And now I'm just gonna give him the ballroom again because uh, there's no point in handing out cards that uh, other people already have. So uh, interesting uh, hand that I was given, I got three rooms this time around, which I actually think is kind of nice because the rooms are sometimes for me the hardest thing to uh, to figure out just because you have to go place to place to place to get it so now i already have three options uh eliminated so now i can focus in on trying to get the people uh get get the uh, the accused and figure out who is the one who actually killed poor mr body as well as uh, also figuring out which weapon was used so i'm not going to make an accusation i don't know enough information yet White is going, and this is where I can potentially get a lot of information if a lot of people skip their, um, uh, if a lot of people just aren't able to hand over a card. So Scarlet's going to take a roll. Now the first round, it's kind of tough because not everybody gets into a room, so it can take a while for us to get started with actually having uh, these accusations suggestions okay so mustard with the rope in the billiard room and peacock can help so now we know that peacock handed something over so what i'll do is each one of these spots that uh, is represented on the card for peacock i'm going to put a question mark and since this is the first time peacock's handed over cards i will put a number one next to the question mark We'll do this on all three of them so that I can see, okay, this was all number one. And so if two of them are eliminated for Peacock, I can know that that third card was definitely the one that she had. So I'm not sure right now which one it is, but now I've noted that information and then the next person will go. Peacock's going to take her turn. And she's in the conservatory. So what suggestion is she going to make? Okay, she is going to say Colonel Mustard with the wrench in the conservatory. Plum and Mustard can't help. I can't help. White can help. So, again, I'm going to take each piece of information and note it. She also might have mustard. She might have the wrench. And she might have the conservatory doing number one for her because that is the first time I've seen cards 
from white. So um, I, I won't get confused by that. Next time I see cards from white, we'll go with number two. So now mustard's gonna take a turn. Roll a five. And he's just gonna stay in the conservatory. And let's see who he suggests. He suggests me. Green with the candlestick in the conservatory. So Plum can help with that one. So we know that Plum does not have the conservatory because he passed on it before, but he may have the green card and he may have the candlestick. So those would be two things that I might potentially want to look at in the future because uh, since he's going to have one of them, that means that none of the other people would have it and that would make it so I would con confirm that uh, they didn't have those if I can get all the way to him. All right, Plum rolls. Eight. And he is going to go over to the conservatory. Again, there is a party in the conservatory. And he's accusing himself suggesting himself with the wrench okay so again we see uh, the wrench in the conservatory for white so I'm gonna put down the question mark and number two for plum but I'm thinking it's probably either gonna be the wrench or the conservatory itself that white has so knowing that that conservatory might be in white's hand i'm in the conservatory already i could guess that room but what i'll likely do is to use the secret passage to go to the other side to the lounge because i have the lounge and that makes it so i can perhaps uh, go past white and uh i just don't want to uh have white give me the conservatory and bypass all the other information so for my first guess here i am going to go with the dagger because i haven't seen that show up and i'll go with green and we'll make that suggestion so again i have the lounge so that's not going to be uh, one that shows up okay the so white has the dagger no wish I could go farther, but that's okay. That ends my turn. Now white is going to take the turn. Dice. Going into the dining room. White's suggestion is plum with the wrench and going to see Scarlet has one of those. So put Plum as an option. As well as the wrench. The wrench seems to be a pretty popular weapon here. As well as the dining room. Okay. Continue. Scarlet will take the turn. So Scarlet's in the conservatory. And now it is going to be mustard with the revolver. Two people can't help. Plum can help. Okay, so two of those can't be the case for Plum because of uh, the fact that he already passed on both mustard and the conservatory. So now we know for sure that he has the revolver. So I can give him the check, give everyone else the X, and cross out revolver as an option. So that's one extra piece of information that I didn't get from me, but instead just paying attention to the other players, we were able to eliminate that as an option, which puts us one step closer to finishing the game. All right, back in the conservatory. This has been a very popular room. Using white with the lead pipe 
Observatory. So Plum can help here. And so either going to be white. And now, since I already did one earlier, I can do number two with the question mark. So I put twos on both of those and then the room he has already passed on. So we know that is not the card that he showed. And then we will keep going. Mustard rolled 10. Back at the conservatory. Everyone's favorite room. Okay, I'll go hang out in the conservatory as well. I can't help. White can help again. So uh, white has the dagger. Um, we can put green as a potential option here. So since she has the dagger, I'm gonna put a red question mark, just to note that, and then the conservatory. Uh, I'm gonna leave that green, because we saw that earlier. This, this red question mark should be number three. This is the third time we've seen white say something. Um, let's see. Oh, the other thing I wanna know, actually, since the dagger, yeah, since the no, since green was passed by Plum earlier on, that was the only option with the candlestick uh, for Plum in the first first time around. So actually, that means that Plum has to have candlestick, so we can eliminate everyone else that as well. Since he does not have green, must have candlestick see if that holds true so that's one less weapon option we're down to the lead pipe rope and the wrench as potential options All right so plum takes a turn he is the only person not currently in the conservatory but he might pull someone else White with the wrench. Doesn't have either of those. Scarlet does. Okay, we saw Scarlet had the wrench, or had the possibility of the wrench before. This is number two. Wrench, also potentially two. And the hall, potentially number two for Scarlet. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the lounge. It's because I wanna focus on the people and the weapons and it's suspicious that White has the conservatory, so I just wanna keep on focusing on this side. Okay, so lead pipe is potential, rope is potential, wrench is potential. Uh, so wrench could be in Scarlet's hand or peacocks and rope potentially oh wait uh yeah rope could be in anybody's hand and lead pipe we've seen eliminated by uh one person so i'm gonna i'm just gonna try the lead pipe and for the individual let's go with somebody we haven't seen before let's go with Scarlet and let's make our suggestion. Oh, wait, no, we've seen, no, we haven't seen Scarlet at all. Okay, so making our suggestion, White can't help, Scarlet can't help, Peacock can't help. All right, Mustard has Scarlet. Okay, so this is very helpful then. So the lead pipe is either in Plum's hand or it's in nobody's hand. So that's good to know that, um, yeah. So I'm gonna continue exploring that uh, and then just try to pull out that uh, lead pipe. All right, so tricky part about this is since I don't have any people um, and I know Plum 
potentially has that lead pipe and he's the only one who can have it, I, it's hard for me to get by everyone else to get to him to see until, um, okay, so uh, uh, let me finish my thought, until I figure out who the person is. So Scarlet says she can help in this situation. She doesn't have Scarlet. She doesn't have the lead pipe. Therefore, she must have the hall. So go down to the hall. She's got it. One more room that I do not need to worry about figuring out later. Cross that one out. Excellent. So half the room's left, half the room's gone. All right, Scarlet's taking the next turn. It's nine. All right, so now in the lounge. So I will be able to respond to this one if no one else does. Okay, dagger with mustard, in the lounge. Okay. So I will hand out that piece of information. Then we will continue as we try to figure out who the people are and who these weapons are. What, what weapons they were using. Back to the conservatory. I'm guessing white will respond. Let's try to get something else. Okay, plum, rope, conservatory. So, okay, oh, before that, we got the colonel, so mustard. So, potentially has plum. So, seems like everybody potentially has plum as well as the rope as an option. I'm really thinking the lead pipe is likely the weapon here, but the trick is figuring out how to get past everybody else to figure that out. Conservatory. Why don't you give me a lead pipe? A lead pipe. Okay. Mustard. Okay. So, yep, we have confirmed because he does not have uh, Colonel Mustard and he does not have the conservatory, so we know for sure that he has the lead pipe. So, we are now down to the rope and the wrench as the potential weapons here. And still have a lot of other information to figure out, but nice to at least get that one under wraps. All right, Plum's going to pull three. He's either going to stay in the conservatory or come over to the lounge, or that was, a, that was not an optimal move by the computer player. So let's go ahead. Go our roll. Can I stay? I'm gonna stay in the lounge. This time, let's go with the wrench. And we haven't seen any movement on Peacock at all. So I'm going to go with her. I'll make a suggestion. All right, Mustard has Peacock. All right, but now we know the wrench is it because now everybody has bypassed the wrench. So, weapon done. Now let's figure out the person. I'm gonna end my turn. Keep going. Room, or sorry, the dining room. And in the dining room, call herself in. Well, we know that she's not going to, so Mustard's going to hand it over to 
potential that he has the dining room, but more likely he handed over the Scarlet card. So we've only really had one from him for this, so this will be number two, but I'm not gonna put too much credence on that because it's most likely that it isn't it. Okay, Scarlet is jumping the gun here. Green library that is incorrect yeah there's we have not had enough information to determine that so she is out all right eight so peacocks going across pretty confident white has the conservatory but still don't know for sure green again. So a lot of people are interested. And um, okay, candlestick. So that's what he did. So I think I should look at green next time around. White. So Plum keeps on handling, handing over the candlestick unless he also has white. We already had that accounted for, so we'll see. So what I'm going to do is, unless I get pulled into this room, I'm going to go back over to the lounge on my next turn, and I'm going to accuse myself with the weapon that Plum has and that can eliminate green as an option without giving over too much information. Okay, so. I'm gonna go with number four here. Four. And so billiard room also gets added to the list at four. Really not sure what white has because there have been a lot of options out there. Um, but I do know some things that she doesn't have, which might lead to um, eliminating some options. Okay, back to the lounge. Again, I'm just trying to figure out the people. I'll get the rooms last. So now I'm going to accuse myself and I'm going to use a weapon that's in the possession of Plum because he's at the other end and he's already been um, like he's already uh, been eliminated as someone who has green so this way I can make it so other people don't know uh, what's going on but um, okay so we'll go with the candlestick because we know that lots of people know about the candlestick so that's what I'm going to see if no one shows me before that. Okay, Peacock does have green, so he is not the person. So it's good to know. Keep along. White's going to take her turn. in the ballroom. Alright, so I can come hang out here. I already have this room. So peacock. Okay, we know that the person that Peacock has is green from before, and she wouldn't be able to have the other ones anyway. She's suggesting white. I can't help. Plum has the candlestick, so that doesn't tell us more information. Dice. Back to the conservatory. All right, peacock. 
farm helps with that candlestick. More and more people asking about the candlestick. Not helping at all. So what's Plum going to do? Go to the library. Sing it in the billiard room. Alright. Light. Rope. Okay. So interesting because now we know that white is not held by scarlet so that means oh the hall we already okay we already figured that out okay so that piece of information from earlier wasn't too helpful now we can figure out for peacock that white is an option though the rope and billiard room were both things that she potentially had before. But I might go to a different room and look for white next. All right. Got 12. So kitchen is also mine. So billiard room, conservatory, dining room, library, and study. I'm going to go to the library because we haven't touched it yet. So I'm going to suggest one of these weapons that Plum has, since we already know that. We're going to go with white this time. Let's just see if we can eliminate her as an option. Um, both people might. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that and we'll just see. Help, Scarlet can't help. Peacock has the library. Okay. Alright, so we still don't know about white, but we can keep exploring that avenue as we eliminate the rooms. Alright, white didn't want to stay in the library. Back will take a turn. Or back to the conservatory and green candlestick plum. Plum always helps with that candlestick. Still don't know about the other stuff. Back to the conservatory. And Plum, of course, can help here with his lead pipe. He has all these weapons. I know it's the wrench, but apparently no one else does. It actually makes it tricky to only have one type of card. Uh, because I only have rooms, really trying to eliminate options is difficult uh, since I can't use my own card to eliminate other options for the, for the people and the weapons. Fortunately, we figured out the weapon. Now we just really need to whittle down the uh, individuals. So I think what I'll do is... I can I'll go to one of my rooms I'll go to the lounge and we'll really just try to whittle down who the people are and then I'll just go room to room until I figure out which room it is okay so now we're gonna go with white again and um, let's see White might be held by Plum, so I'm just I'm just gonna go with the wrench and make a suggestion. You can't help. You can't help. You can't help. You can't help. 
Okay, so we now have the person. So it's white and the wrench. So now it's a race to figure out which room we are going to. Okay, so she has the dining room because she does not have the other ones. So I can definitively say yes, that is the case. All right, so now we're just focused down here. So conservatory, billiard room, or study. Postulate that the study is where we're going to end up. I really think White has the conservatory, and I suspect Peacock has the billiard room. But they keep guessing Candlestick, so Plum will continue to answer that if it gets to him. If someone else doesn't guess, or someone else doesn't give a card over beforehand like Mustard just did. All right, bad. just don't do a candlestick. Ugh. These people. Mom will give you the candlestick all day long. Where we going? Over to the kitchen. A rope. I can hand over the kitchen to you. Okay. Oh, serious. It seems he beat me to the punch. There it is. Well, that's how we go about it. Um had the right idea, but for, unfortunately, the other player got to the guess before I was able to. So that's how the game is played. And I hope this is beneficial for you, even though you're not going to win every single time. Uh, and sometimes other players are doing the same things you are when they're figuring out what, um, what cards that different people have and eliminating options. But that's the approach that I take. And uh, really, if I had been been able to get across a little bit quicker i would have been able to finish the game so that's how it goes um, if you have any questions uh, please feel free to drop them in the comments if you're interested in seeing more strategies for different board games more examples of gameplay or different application of these games uh, to various things like economics history and government feel free to uh, like the videos and subscribe and i hope to see you soon